This is the tale of a fool. Me. Saline Valley is an isolated, hard to get to spot on the west side of Death Valley National Monument. There are two roads that most people use to get in. The North Pass and the South Pass. There are other ways to enter this valley, but those extremely rugged passes are coming in from the east. In fact, the title of this video is named after one of those passes. Coming from the Los Angeles area, we took the South Pass, a very rugged road that cuts through some beautiful wilderness and mountainous terrain. With my newly lifted but aged 1994 Jeep Grand Cherokee, ZJ, and Marty's newer Grand Cherokee, we figured we could handle this little excursion. After all, we've done it before on one of our earlier attempts to the ghost town yeah, of right, Beverage. Right. Yeah. We don't do Occupy Beverage signs. But we, we weren't there. going to do a backpacking trip. <laughs> this trip was purely for pleasure. Our destination was the Saline Valley Warm Springs. President's Day is a popular time for the Warm Springs. Filling the campgrounds with the chill vibe, amazing art, sculptures, landscaping, and of course several warm springs that contrast so well with the chill of winter. I decided to do this trip because the day after we returned home, I was going in for knee surgery. For this trip, our primary point of exploration was to visit the racetrack, a playa known to have rocks that seemingly move on their own. To get there, we only had to take Lippincott Pass, a road that goes up and over a mountain and down into the racetrack playa. Come on, baby. 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 Woo! This wasn't just some road, though. And getting there was easier said than done. What? At this time, Marty steps out to see why I was no longer behind him. That bang and hiss sound? My old Jeep ZJ hit a bump so hard that the engine mounts broke and the movement of the V8 engine inside apparently snapped off the plastic lip where the radiator hose connects. We MacGyvered it, but I had to go back to the camp and take it slow. But at least one of us made it to the racetrack. But he had to hike it. Yeah, thank you. I think uh, Andy and Steph got a little scared because they popped a radiator hose. We fixed it, and they're on their way, but they didn't want to continue up. I don't want to continue up either, at least not in my dream, so I got my pack all ready, and I'm going to just put it up there and everything, so there you go. These rocks were a big mystery for the longest time. 
But recently, scientists have discovered that, that these rocks move when very thin ice sheets, only millimeters thick, form on the hard playa surface. When these ice sheets melt, and with even just a light wind, rocks slide across and leave their tracks. On the final day, we decided to take the slightly less rugged route through the North Pass. But the radiator hose snapped off again. Even worse than before. And I had to park the old Jeep on the side of the road and abandon it. I had knee surgery planned for the following day, so I had to go, but I vowed to return. I even left a note saying that I'd come back for it. Watch out for the rescue mission in the next episode. Two LA city boys out in this shit. <laughs>